Bishop Herman College, located in Pando, is arguably one of the best senior high schools in Ghana, but these days, it appears abandoned and forgotten, and it has been left to rot by the state, past students, and the Parent Teachers Association. The Giants block of the school, which has produced many illustrious sons of this country, is in a sorry state and on the verge of collapse. The green and yellow paint on the other buildings on the campus has also lost its luster. The once prestigious institution now has a huge pile of refuse and choke drain and this poses threats to the health of the students. In spite of the glaring danger posed by the state of the building, it is still being used by the authorities as a dormitory, a library, and a store. The sorry state of the college came to light when national executives of the Bishop Herman Old Boys Union led a media tour to ascertain the state of affairs in the college ahead of the school's 70th anniversary celebration slated for November 26, 2022. Students who spoke to City News off camera said they were living in fear. Upon a visit to the library, only three students were spotted there and this was a confirmation of the fear associated with the building. The team was shocked to learn that the dilapidated jam block was awarded to a contractor for rehabilitation in 2018, but the work was clearly yet to begin. A drainage construction project on the school's undulating campus, which was also awarded to a different contractor, looked abandoned while vehicles struggled to access certain parts of the school. The secretary to the Old Boys Association, Edward Ayem, told City News that once glorious Bishop Herman College needed immediate attention. So importantly, um, we are appealing to all old boys. It is a good time to join hands together. It's a good time to rally, you know, ourselves around this our beautiful institution and contribute our quota in whichever way, whichever way, you know, financially, but also importantly by our various uh, connections with, with uh, power, with uh, the you know, right authorities, so that uh, development can come to to this institution. As you can see, most of our buildings are are very dilapidated. The the the, the road network is so terrible. You know, our classrooms are, are are suffering neglect, and and all these need work. In fact, most of the structures on campus are, are very old, and and so therefore need a lot of. Um, rehabilitation even the new ones that have been built uh, because of you know um, the, the vagaries of the weather and etc you know a lot of wear and tear a lot of these buildings are, 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 are worn out you know we also have structures that have been awarded but have not been completed you know we have a dormitory sitting there you know uh, less than 10 percent you know work done and all these can if worked on can help this school has produced a lot of illustrious men you know in this country and it, it is a shame that it, it is the way it is so i want to firstly appeal to uh, our old boys let's put aside whatever sentiments whatever things might have gone wrong or right this is just a good time to to start over this is a good time to to come together to support our alma mater we also want to appeal to the government and to state agencies that that have oversight over some of the the things that have to be done to to kindly attend to 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 the problems here you know and all these things uh, can best be addressed if our state agencies would would also you know avert their attention to this and, and you know to ensure holistic education you know is given the newly appointed municipal chief executive for pando Geoffrey badasu who is also an old student of the school and a former tutor in the school added his voice to the call for action on the school uh, i think we need all hands on deck approach old boys philanthropists and people who have the school at heart we join hands together and see how best we can support the school. Yeah. Assembly's position, uh, I can't for now figure out anything. But I, I just as, assume office less than just about two weeks ago. Okay. So I'm here to meet my management. We we'll look at uh, the institutions that require support, and of course my alma mater, 
will be a priority on, on my list. Uh, Get Fun People consulted me a few weeks ago and uh, I'm here to officially engage them to see what they have for second cycle institutions. Then we'll see what best we can do to support Bishop Lema, my alma mater. The team also paid a courtesy call on the Volta Regional Minister, Dr. Achiba Yalecha, and inform him about the challenges facing the college, especially the abandoned government project. Dr. Lecha, in response, said his outfit will take appropriate steps to help fix the problem in the college. And what I can say now is that we have heard what you brought to, to tell us, and we'll take the appropriate action to see what we can do to address your concerns. But as I said, whilst I do the underground um, contacts and so on, uh, we need to be written to officially by the school. And all these four issues must be addressed separately because the road issue were addressed by different st uh, state institution. The, the PSI, we have to find out the history and, and, and where the funding was from. Possibly it was something directly funded from the president's office. And, and, and that we have to find out whether get fun could, could take over. Uh, we have to, we have to find. Out. That's why I was trying to get uh, them on the phone, but I, I couldn't get them. But they will call me back. Get another contractor, a more resourceful contractor, to come and do the road before you are investing. Okay. We may have to do that because this man doesn't show any sign that he can, he, he, he can deliver.